Okay, so let's do let's do this synthesis problem again. Yeah. Let's do the synthesis problem again. Okay. So um, in order to be able to do these synthesis problems, remember we're going to be drawing a, like a road map. Okay. So we can do it either forward or retro. Okay. Either one works. Um, you have to know what these compounds are, how to draw them. Okay. So benzene, of course. Everybody's probably okay with drawing, right? And draw out um, paranitro benzoic acid for me. Okay. So we're going to do that, go from here to here. So remember, in order to do this, we're not going to draw a mechanism. We're not going to um, do anything like that. We're going to do a number of steps, like a roadmap. So I think somebody said, Yvonne, did you, you were the ones that said the first step, right? Yes, what was it? Um, CH3CL. Yeah, so. And L. Uh-huh. Okay, so we'll do a friedel crash reaction, right? And that gives us toluene. I'll just draw it like this. So it gives us toluene. And eventually, this um, methyl group will be turned into the benzoic acid. And I think the last time we said, well, the first thing we want to do is do that, what? So somebody, somebody mentioned, right, well, we want to oxidize this thing with potassium permanganate, right? But what did we say? No. Nope. That's a bad idea, right? But we want to do that as our last step, right? Why would that have been a bad idea to oxidize with potassium permanganate now? It would make it better. Yeah, well, because it would turn an electron donating group into an electron withdrawing group, right? So in other words, right, here, what are we going to do? Put potassium permanganate and, and acid, acid, right? That's all right. Okay, and what would have been the starting material of that reaction there? Uh-huh. a methyl group. Okay. So a toluene, right? Mm -hmm. With a nitro group. And yeah, with a nitro para. group para to it, right? Okay, so how would we go from there to there? So this is kind of cool because we can say, oh, I know how to get from one step to here, and I know how to go backwards one step to here. Now if I can just kind of bridge that gap, then I should be set, okay? Can, can anybody figure out, and I'm sure you know this reaction, Right, because we have the uh, methyl group, it's going to push that um, para, the nitro to the para position, right? So what what is it that we use? HNO3. Okay, so nitric acid and sulfuric acid, and that gives us that. Okay, so that's how you do that synthesis. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I think we had a better recording of it last time, but this is totally totally awesome. Okay. Any questions on this one before we get going with it? Okay, wonderful.